Hey everyone, this is a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming. Happy Fragment Friday, hope you're doing well. Uh, certainly an eventful start to 2021, but let's see if we can't get things back to normal here with a little run on the Arcadia Pi server. Quick thanks to Vector, by the way, for hosting the server and allowing us to do this run. Uh, key words, cheerful, heated daydream. Certainly the kind of daydream you're hoping to have in the middle of January, at least. Here where I am, a, heat, a cheerful, heated daydream sounds fantastic. Landscape doesn't quite seem to match up to those words, but it does look somewhat toasty. In fact, downright scorched. We're going to go ahead and apply our buffs real quick here. I have Sublime Stolen. I'm not going to lie, my equipment is more more pieced out for skills than actual statistics. So we've got Rig Same, Rig Game, uh, Hit Point, and Skill Point Regeneration up. We've also got um, App Corv and App Vorv, Physical Attack and Defense Boosts. I do have some Hunter's Blood on hand for App Torv, the uh, Physical Accuracy Boost, which by far and away is the most essential if you're going to be shopping for buffs of any type and you are any class other than Wave Master, make sure you get those hits in. But I'm not going to use them because we're already five levels over here. This is a level 20 field, we're level 25. In fact, we already cleared the first uh, portal while I was yapping there. Find a couple symbols, so we'll go ahead and grab those real quick. We get App Korma and App Vorv. So our physical defense is up, and we have magic attack up as well. Come up on some general armors and a witch. Combo off to take out the witch and start some damage on the armors. Medium to large enemies typically don't have the greatest physical evasion, so I certainly wasn't worried about hitting those guys. Pick up a frost anklet out of that chest. Seems like only a short while ago we were picking those up out of the uh, statue chests at the end. Here we come up on another armor and witch combo. Dealt with hastily. And we get some experience here. This is right on the edge of, you know, being worth the run. You could see most enemies are only giving us one or two experience here. Pick up a chest out of this portal. Fire Tempest out of there. Got a little over a half dozen left. Really, you want to be gunning for like three to four experience per. I wouldn't go much higher than that unless you're really confident against the enemies, or unless you're a wave master with a badass wand. Uh, if you're soloing, you don't want to run that risk of leveling down on a kill. Just too many bad things can happen, especially once you get up over level 30, 35. Here we come up on a Fire Witch and a Wood Harpy. It was something in that line, but I didn't want to say the wrong one. And you saw the general armor sort of sneaking up on us as we were finishing off the Wood Harpy there. Get a nice close-up of this uh, risky treasure here. Let's go ahead and disarm it while a regular chest spawns behind us. Get a Shadow Blades out of the risky treasure, and out of the normal one we get the death. That's about the only kind of death we're looking for on this particular board, the kind that comes out of a treasure chest. Run to the next portal here. Pair of General Armor. Again, hitting that multi-target attack just to get a little bit of damage going, just a bit of a head start and transition. Picking up our quality 2 experience there. And our health and skill point regeneration have already worn off, so we're going to take a sec reapply those. It's not that they're super essential, I just like having the passive healing going as I play. Boards like this, you don't have to worry about it slipping your mind and then you needing to pop a potion. In fact, spoiler, we won't use a single potion this entire board. I know, I know what you're thinking, I'm five levels over, I already said that. Honestly though, it does save in the long run having that little bit of regen up. 
certainly a little annoying going through all the casting times and whatnot. Uh, you could save up charms, but I'm not sure if those go through the casting time or not as well. Either way, I like having the abilities on hand, especially with a uh, rig game. You kind of look at it, and by the time you're done casting, it's kind of paid for itself with that two extra SP per uh, check there. Here we come up on three general armors, and I'm just going to combo like my life depends on it. They're going to do the same to me. So you see a symphony of violence there as everybody's twirling around and just bashing each other upside the head with stuff. We do get through. Open up a chest with another frost anklet, and our speed boost is gone. So to get to that last portal a little quicker, let's call on our old friend the Noble Grunty. Gonna ride him around and remind you of another peculiar perk. While you're riding a Grunty, you can't open portals, which means monsters can't attack you. Go ahead and take a bit of victory lap there. Finally open the portal up and we are one on one with the last standing general armor of the field. There you see all field portals open. Finish them off with a clubbing blow. It's supposed to be a slicing blow. We're using a slashing weapon. Disarm the trap pick up another Shadow Blades. Go ahead and grab ourselves a Grunty Flute. Um, yeah, we hadn't seen any Grunty food so far this field. I had a feeling it would be Twilight Onion due to the fire element. But just to double check, here's some Twilight Onions. Actually a pretty dense patch of them here. And there's another symbol. Check that out before we head in. And what do we get? Aptorv, great, there's our physical accuracy. Pick up a fourth Twilight Onion, and then on our merry way. Go ahead, circle back here. Make our way in. And this looks to be a Castle Walls dungeon from the looks of it. Got that nice little reddish-orange fortress with the green interior. These are usually the ones with the checkerboard floor. There it is, checkerboard floor. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead here, pop the fairy's orb, and look to reapply our buffs, our speed boost, and, you know, get our other four buffs up and running again. I am going to remind you, if you're new to Dot Hack Fragment, or if you've got a friend looking to get into the game and are looking for a quick guide how to set up, the Dot Hack Network has you covered. DotHack.org, the How to Set Up Fragment Guide. Um, I know I'm going to be looking into it myself this weekend because my HDD finally came in for my PlayStation 2. So I'm going to be setting that up so I could play on hardware as well as on emulation. Moving into the first room here. Just a basic square room, has that giant skeleton in a cage in the middle. Move through another empty room here, and we'll take the side passage. Bit of a corridor, one portal in the middle, and it gives us a chest that yields a fire tempest. Gonna ignore the empty room to the south of this small room past and go to the square room dead end beyond it. One portal gives us a general armor. There's a bar behind it and that fireball that just got dropped on my head tells me it's a fire witch. She goes down in one shot and we pick up a bearcat egg. Time to do a little bit of the old backtrack. Get a burning oil out of that corpse just kind of sitting there. Burning oils, I believe, boost your fire element for a short time. Consumable item. I've always used them for offline trading with NPCs, but that's just me. Here comes another portal, and it looks like we've got... Oh, a dark witch and potentially... Yeah, that looks like two dark witches from... Just going off the coloration there. 
One of them gives us a risky treasure, and inside that risky treasure is yet another Shadow Blades. A little treasure room beyond that, we'll pick up a Meteor Swarm, and then make our way to the exit. So a nice, clean first floor. Barely broke a sweat, which is good because we probably swept buckets out there on the scorched hellscape that was the field. Not quite the floor is lava, but it was up there. Gonna make our way down to the second floor now. Remind you all again, if you're looking for any news um, related to dot .hack, be it dot .hack fragment versus any of the translation projects going on, general merchandise, go ahead and check out dot .hack news. That will also be linked below here. Take time to practice my spear twirling, get all my buffs up. And first room's gonna give us a portal, and out of that portal comes a general armor and a Lombada knife. Nice to see the Lombada knife, because it's something that could do a little damage to us, but we could also hit pretty easily. Also, a new model for this field. Don't think we saw one of those out in the field, and certainly didn't see one in the first floor. Taking out this general armor, take a break to take out the witch before she casts on us and get through that nice and easy. Pick up a Meteor Swarm in the chest beyond. Swing back and head the opposite direction. A lot of clockwork going on in the background here too. Get a nice little Castlevania vibe walking through. Get the Hangman out of that chest there and we're into a little 90 degree turn room. Got a Lombada Knife and a Witch. Combo off, take them both out simultaneously, take our three experience, and risky treasure. Out of the chest comes a raccoon ear cap. Cool. Raccoon ear caps are nice because they give you a lot of rep. Here we got a dark witch and a general armor. Yet another nice, simple combat, and we are on our way to the next room. Diagonal hallway, so a bit of a breather. Let's us get some of that SP back. Semicircle room. This portal's got a couple Lombada knives and a couple witches. Get taken to task a little bit there, but we managed to make it through the casting and finish everything off. Pick up a Meteor Swarm for our troubles, and progress to a long corridor heading to the stairs to floor 3. Perhaps I was a little over the top on the word long there. Apologies. Moving to floor 3 now. Go ahead and get these buffs up. Kind of see that little rectangle room at about the 3 o'clock position if it was an analog watch face. That's looking like the treasure room, so this is probably the bottom floor. Typically the uh, dungeons on Arcadia Pi, nice simple casual run-throughs, you're not going to run into many ten floors, in fact I don't think I've run into any. There may be one, I'm not sure, but generally, if you got 15-20 minutes and you want to do a run, Arcadia Pi is kind of the place to go server I think is level 21, but most fields cap out between level, you know, 10 to 20. A little bit of something for everyone there. Here we run up against a Lombada knife and a witch. Take them down, no extra loot, so we will move into this T-shaped room. Get a chest out of the portal, and there's an altar here at the base of the T where we acquire a Fire Tempest. Move further down on the map into a square room that seems to be a hub. We've got a door coming off each side. Portal in the middle of the square room gives us a couple witches. We'll combo off, kill them simultaneously. One drops a risky treasure. One ice hunter cap later. We are moving to the next portal. This one is going left on the map. 
and we've got ourselves four witches. I accidentally hit the wrong skill. It does a ton of damage, but it's a single hit attack, which gives the witches their chance to get a shot in on me. I don't take too much damage though, and most of that's going to be healed by the regeneration being offered by my buffs. Disarming this chest for yet another raccoon ear cap. Pick up a bear cat egg, and we will be on our way down from the square uh, shaped room for our last portal of the dungeon. See what we get here. Oh, four witches again. This time I hit the right button combination and they are down before the game could tell us we've opened up all of our uh, dungeon portals. Get a couple treasure chests here. One gives us the lovers and the other. We get a raccoon ear cap. Nothing on that altar. So we'll make our way back up, head right from the square room, where we've got a little bit of a treasure room. Not the statue room, just some breakable objects and a chest in the middle. Let's see if we get anything out of these crates and or barrels. 0 for 5, 0 for 6. Nope, solid 0 for 9. We got the satisfaction of seeing wood fly. Picked up the death out of that chest, I believe. And we're going to make our way to the statue room. So there you go, under 20 minutes, just a hair over 15, but a large part of that was just me casting buffs. You could probably run that under 15 at level 25. Check out what we get here in the statue. Do my trying too hard fast walk. And we get a fireman's coat. Nice little armor. A resurrect. And a grunty doll. Folks, that's going to do it here for this edition of the Fragment Friday run. Uh, this has been a grumpy old guy gaming. Thank you again for watching. As you see, we're making some decent progress to level 26. 410 experience through. We will, uh... We will be back for the Weekend Warrior run on Sunday and an announcement for what is in store for our Sunday uploads going forward. In the meantime, you guys take care and we'll see you in the next.